I show pictures of people quite a bit because I find there are still lingering stereotypes of what the third world is about and part of my job is to dispel those stereotypes. So I ask people, do these folks look like they're starving? No. Do they look unhappy? Do they look repressed? Are they badly dressed? Are they the vision of the third world that is projected to us by the media? I didn't see anybody hungry. I didn't see anybody emaciated or looking like the pictures you see of folks starving. I didn't see anybody violent. In all my time there, I never saw a poisonous snake or an elephant or a bare breast or any of those stereotypes one has of Africans. Very hospitable, civilized, lovely people most of them. I suppose there were jerks everywhere, but I didn't meet them. And I spent quite a lot of time in West Africa. world. People are just people. And until we drag them into the cash economy and force them to go to work to do things they don't want to do and be in factories to make cheap clothes for us or whatever it is, they're very happy in general. It's a subjective observation, but I've spent a lot of time with a lot of people. I think that's the generalization of the world. We tend to think it's them and us. But then we get looking at who us is, and I realized that our own ancestors not very long ago were actually behaving the same sort of ways. time in Africa, there is a, of times of necessity, a connection with the natural scheme of things. The sun, the wind, the water, the earth, a very direct relationship where you actually having all five senses constantly engaged by those major natural elements. The beauty, the most fundamental beauty of earthbound and earth center building is the fact that it's easy, it's capable of being modified. So as we keep growing and keep asking questions and keep hopefully becoming slightly wiser about something beyond our grasp, we decide to shift our physical resources, including our buildings, in a certain way. We want to do something to them to reflect this new awareness. The earth, earth and building allows one to do that relatively easy and in a way that doesn't compromise the open-ended integrity really of, of what that design is. It's sensuous to the hand, all that, it's gravy. I think the cake is you know even as you're doing it that when it hardens and dries and it's polished and impregnated with the proper finishing coats that it isn't finished and you aren't upset. You know it's capable of being further enriched and it's just a good feeling. Something called Dawa Dawa Tree. 
that daudawa leaves, we soak it in water. And you see this gravel. After pounding this, uh, we use the water, watering it. And you will see that it becomes brown and strong like cement. So uh, locally, if we don't get cement, that's what we do. And uh, so cement is a new uh, technology. But uh, this is formerly what we used to do. Up till now, some of us are still using it. And it's very good. It's very hard, like cement. Do you have to change the roof every few years? When the grass are rotten, mm -hmm. and it takes so many years before it's rotten, mm -hmm. some take more than 15 years, wow. 20 years before you can change it. And after now, it's more than 30 years now. This building, mm -hmm. it's more than 30 years. You see, no cement here. 